welcome back. Now I'm going to tell you a story oh, and I sorry. think after this story you'll be able to tell it to somebody else, to your family or to anyone who'll listen to you really. Oh, I'll tell it to my Okay, mom. this is the story of Mr Wibble and Mr Wobble. <laughs> now Mr Wibble was a little pig and Mr Wobble was a little pig. Ooh. And Mr Wibble lived in a little pig pen and he would open his little pig pen door and hop inside, pop, and close the door behind him. And Mr Wobble was a little pig too. And he opened his little pig pen door, whoosh, it was a much newer pig pen. And he'd hop inside, pop, and close the door behind him. Now, as soon as you think you can join in, do. One day, Mr Wibble decided to visit Mr Wobble. So he opened his little pig pen door, hopped outside, pop, and closed the door behind him. Then he went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill till he came to Mr Wobble's door. And then he would knock. Mr Wobble, are you there? But Mr Wobble was not there. So he went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill until he got to his very own little pig pen and he opened the door, hopped inside, pop, and closed the door behind him. Well, the next day, Mr Wobble decided to visit Mr Wibble and so he opened his swish new pig pen door, hopped outside, Pop, closed the door behind him and he went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill until he came to Mr Wibble's door and he knocked. Mr Wibble, are you there? Mr Wibble was not there. So he went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill till he got back home to his little squish pig pen and he opened the door, whoosh, hopped inside, pop, and closed the door behind him. Well, the next day, Mr Wibble decided to visit Mr Wobble. And Mr Wobble decided to visit Mr Wibble. And so they opened their little pig pen doors, hopped outside, pop, 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 closed the doors behind them, and went up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill, and, up the hill and, up the hill and hello, Mr Wobble, I was coming to visit you. Hello, Mr Wibble, I was coming to visit you. I've got a poem. I've got a song. They didn't know what they should have first, the poem or the song? The song! The song. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. I don't want your company. Oh, that was excellent. Let's sing that again really loudly all together. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. I don't want your company. Oh, that was great. Now tell me your poem. OK. This little piggy's name is Anton. This little piggy's name is Joan. Oh, hi, Joan. This little piggy brought an iPod. Oh, wow. This little piggy gave a groan. Oh. And this little piggy went wee, 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 wee on his <laughs> mobile phone. <laughs> oh, tell me that poem again. See if we can all say it together. This, this little piggy's name was Anton. Anton. This little piggy's name is Joan. This little piggy bought an iPod. This little piggy gave a groan. 
And this Ooh. little piggy went wee, 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 wee on his oh, mobile oh, phone. Oh, that was excellent. Could we sing that song again? Certainly. So they sang, shoo fly, don't bother me. Shoo fly, don't bother me. Shoo fly, don't bother me. I don't want your company. Goodbye, goodbye. And so Mr Wibble and Mr Wobble went down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill till they got to their own little pig pens where they opened the door, whoosh, hopped inside, pop, pop, and closed the doors behind them and went to sleep. And that's the end of the story. Oh, that's a great story.